In this video, we'll look at pivot table subtotals and what their default settings are and how you can change the arrangement for subtotals. So here's a blank pivot table that I've just created. The fields are over here. I'm going to put a couple of fields in the row labels area and a couple in the columns. First, I'll click on region and city, and those automatically go into the row labels because they're text fields. The outer field is region. We can see a heading for each region, and below that, the cities in the region. Next, I'll put fields into the column labels. If I just check the box, they'll automatically go into the row labels, so I'll drag them down into the field list. First, I'll put in category and then product. Now there are column headings with category first and the products in each category, and there's automatically a subtotal created for each of the categories. Finally, I'll put in quantity. It's a numeric field, so if I check that, it automatically goes into the values area. I've got subtotals now automatically showing for the regions and for the categories. The categories, the subtotal is at the end, at the bottom of the field, and for the region, it's at the top. I can change this, and if I change the report layout, it will also affect the subtotals. So first we'll look at the ribbon. So on Pivot Table Tools, if I click the Design tab, I can see some of the layout settings. For subtotals, I can turn them off completely, and so now there are no numeric subtotals. But in this compact layout, which is the default, we still see the heading for the regions. So they're on a separate row. If I turn them on, I can say show them all at the top of the group. Now we've got numbers at the top of each region field, but for the column labels, the subtotals will always go to the bottom, no matter whether you pick top or bottom. And if we go to show subtotals at bottom, that affects the row label, so now those numeric subtotals are at the bottom, and there's still a heading at the top in this compact layout. We can change the report layout, so if I click Report Layout, right now we're in Compact Form. If I change to Outline Form, we have separate columns now for region and city, and the subtotals are still at the top. If I change to the bottom, we still get that heading row, but the numeric subtotals are at the bottom. The final layout option is tabular, and with that, we can see that the heading is on the same row as the first item in the next field, and there is a subtotal at the bottom. If I select subtotals, show at top, that does not have any effect in the tabular layout. So with subtotals, the compact and outline will show row subtotals at the top or bottom, tabular will only show them at the bottom, and column fields will only show subtotals at the bottom. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.